guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And I am here today with another fun unboxing of Scroller Box. So in case you're new to my channel and you don't know what Scrawler Box is, Scrawler Box is an art subscription box that is sent straight to your house or your mailbox. If you don't know what an art subscription box is, it's basically an amazing little box full of different art supplies that you probably have never tried before and you've been always wanting to try that one brand of art supplies or pencils or pens or whatever. I can't wait any longer. Let's open this up. This is what the inside looks like and I'm gonna go ahead and well, I'll attempt to rip that off nicely. Oh my goodness, look at all this. <gasps> it sparkles inside. I'm not even reading what I got. I'm just like going crazy. Oh my gosh. Before I go completely insane, I have to show you. This is a featured postcard that Scrawler Box sends in their box. Uh, talking about this particular artist. This artist's name is Rebecca. So I get to learn all about Rebecca on the back of this and if I choose to go ahead and follow her on her social media links and everything, then I can, but that's amazing. And then Scholar Box is super awesome that they send me this handy dandy bookmark and they tell me everything that is included in this box and they tell me like what the brands are in case I'm interested in this brand and then I can eventually go to my local Michaels or Hobby Lobby and be like, hey, I need more of this and then buy $100 worth of all that art supplies. So I have, oh, I'm so excited because I really, really like these and I think I've told you guys in my live stream before that Spectrum Noir markers are super awesome. So these are called Colorista and they're by Spectrum Noir. Okay, so this side, you can see is bigger on this side and then this side is a bit of a more fine tip. So that is really helpful. I'm so excited right now. This is called a sparkle pen by Spectrum Noir. <gasps> it's got sparkles in it! I, I, I think you all know just how much I love sparkles. A glitter brush pen. I'm gonna put this all over my face. Sakura. Identity pen. So very cool. This is just a really nice ink pen. This is going to be super helpful for me in the future because see we got a fine tip pen right here. Got a and then we have the wider end right here as well. They sent me adorable colored pencils by Spectrum Noir. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this and take a look at those. Oh, those are pretty. They sent me Two of this artist, the featured artist, there are two coloring sheets, so I can color in my own version of this on my own. So that's really neat. My absolute favorite, favorite thing about Scrawler Box is a challenge that they send with their box every month. And they challenge you to use all the art supplies I just showed you, but to take this one little prompt use all the art supplies and create something. They've even provided two pieces of white paper for me to use all those art supplies on. And it's really fun because this month's scroller challenge is design a coloring page. So that means my challenge is going to have to be similar to this. So let's go ahead and jump into time lapse and I'll show you how I make a coloring page with the Scholar Challenge using all of these amazing art supplies. Let's go to that. I don't, I, th I was taught in Halloween not to eat candy that's already open. This is how I was laying in the box. Um, we're gonna skip this one. I love Werther's though. Alrighty, so let's talk about my process and what I chose to draw for my coloring page. So I was slightly inspired by the artist that was featured on the postcard that Scholar Box included in the box. And just because it was like space doodles and everything to me, it, it was just like all these space mandalas and zentangle work and everything. So I thought, I want to do something spacey and what's better in spacey than the TARDIS in Doctor Who, of course. Um, we all know this by now. So I was thinking, what can I doodle along with the TARDIS? So I knew I wanted to draw the TARDIS uh, looking on it full on. 
and you can always see that I always have so much trouble drawing or doodling the TARDIS just because I want to get the proportions right and usually the best way to doodle the TARDIS is to roughly place everything where you know it goes like the blocks on the front of the TARDIS when I say the blocks I mean the doors and um, you know that there's eight of those so you just want to go ahead and doodle it out that's the best advice I can give you when it comes to doodling the TARDIS and then just follow up with the rough sketch with actually making straight lines with a ruler so for the designs that I put on the TARDIS um, I just thought of the many times is start the TARDIS, the Stardust. <laughs> the TARDIS has come in contact with the sun and how the sun is it's either draining power or the TARDIS is stuck in the sun's rift or something. There's always something going on with the sun. There's always some kind of threat. It's not always, but it is a constant theme that the doctor runs into having a problem with the sun. So I drew suns on the um, panels of the doors and I also thought of the Vincent Van Gogh episode with Eleven and Amy, and that's my that's got to be my favorite episode out of all the Doctor Who episodes. Um, so I had the sun in a kind of a sunflower shape, and I don't know. I just saw it's a common theme using the sun. So and then for the windows, I just wanted it to be like. If you look at really old mansions, you can always see that they have those interesting windows with like, it's like a ripple effect almost, and it's usually like green when you look inside the front doors. I was just completely thinking of stained glass all over the TARDIS, and that's what I just originally wanted to color. So you probably have noticed by now that I'm jumping from the Sakura identity pin to the, my own Micron pin. Just because uh, when I was showing off the actual pen in the video, I was putting the top back onto the fine tip end and I split it because you have to be so careful when it comes to pens, so learn from my mistakes. But other than that, it was making incredible thick lines and everything, and I really enjoyed using the Spectrum Noir Colorista markers that they had a really bright vibrant color and I knew that I wanted to use them on my stars that's why I made so many and you know I just kind of had an overall idea how I wanted to use each supply for each part of my coloring page so I just love them because they look like little cotton candy stars So the Spectrum Noir uh, Colorista pencils were really fun to work with and they had good vibrant colors and uh, they were great. I didn't find myself sharpening them that often on my coloring page and I just love, I guess in a way if you guys follow me on Instagram then you can see that I just most recently did a picture of Maui from Moana and I drew all of his tattoos, almost all of them, because um, it's just a daunting, incredible task to draw all of Maui's tattoos. And if you ever want to challenge yourself, draw all of Maui's tattoos. So that's how I felt when I was coloring and making all these like um, these intri intricate designs all over the TARDIS for the coloring. But I really like how everything was going along. I love the warm colors on the TARDIS. Like, you have your, the warm colors on the panels and on the windows, and then the TARDIS overall is still a set of blues, and it just made me happy because it was just like this combination of warms and cools all over the TARDIS. Now here is my favorite part, is the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. I can say that I went past these in Michaels the other day. I just kind of Spectrum Noir, like they had a whole shelf of Spectrum Noir with the coloring books and all the pens and pencils and everything. And I saw the sparkle pens and I went, oh my gosh, I wonder if they're actually sparkle pens. And now seeing them in real life and just how amazing this effect is. Ah, I am absolutely in love. I love Love, 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 love the sparkle pen so much. <laughs> I really 
really hope you enjoyed that because it was a lot of fun. I love making coloring pages. I clearly saw how much fun I was having with all these art supplies and everything. And you too could get your own scrawler box. I'm going to include all the information down below on how you could purchase your own subscription to scrawler box. I love scrawler box. I think this is a fantastic art subscription box and I love receiving it every month. Thank you so much scrawler box once again for sending me yet another amazing box. I have so much fun. So much fun. I don't know how many times I'm going to repeat this, but so much fun. So I'm going to leave their website down below in the info box and you could go and click on that so you can see how you can purchase your own art subscription box from Scholarbox. And hopefully you'll be with me doing these fun doodle challenges every single month. If you like to color, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more of me, make sure you hit the art. I'm trying to prove <laughs> I can't. Hey, if you want to subscribe, make sure you, you hit the subscribe button down below and you make sure, so because I'm going to get more of these amazing boxes in the future. I'm so horrible at self-promoting. <laughs> and I will see you all later. Bye! Doo, 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 doo.